that's all. Okay, I want to let you know that I'm here to orchestrate about saving the whales. So um, I want to have a prop I use to do that, okay? I'm here to shave the whales. All right. You, you know what Ronald Reagan would say about this? What would he say? Whale? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can do it. Now, the hardest way to play this, this is very hard to play, but I gotta tell you something about this. This way is even harder with this thing. Thank you. <laughs> that was a good fake job. No warm up. My name is Brian Vishniewski. I'm also known as Sparky the Clown or Hey You. I was born in Long Beach, California in a hospital. I also grew up in the foster family at the time because my mom got ill when I was young. So what happened is I uh, lived with a foster family in Encino and uh, I grew up there. So I had two families to a certain degree. I always had this great love of music. That was my thing. I always was into comedy. Like one of the things I did as a child, uh, if they would make a movie about me, you would see me inside of a wooden TV set because I built one, got inside at the age of five and started entertaining inside the TV set. I don't have the faintest idea if I was any good or not, but that's what I was doing. There's like some gene in me or something, some need to do comedy. So it, 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 I never thought of myself as a comedian. I went to CalArts and uh, I, one of my roommate at the time was an indie musician too. And he says, I'm going up, up to um, Mill Valley. Would you like to come up there and stay in the summer? I couldn't find a job in San Francisco and I needed to do so. And one day I was walking down the street and I saw this guy in a gorilla suit playing the accordion and he was playing ethnic music, which is my forte. He went to get a Coke or something. I said, do you mind if I try your gorilla suit on? I set up my case, I open it up, I put the gorilla suit on and I start playing like Strangers in the Night or some schmaltzy tune. And all of a sudden I see a dollar go right into the case. I said, here's my job. Nine years I did that for. Anyway, this is where I used to be, where I first started. Does your wife want to pose with me? Yes. Come on down. Don't worry, I'm, That's my I'm a safe clown. A safe clown. <laughs> okay. I'm safe. You're safe. <laughs> I don't know safe clown. Where are you from? We're from Germany. See, I know all this yes. stuff. Okay. Du, du, lich schmieren Herzen. Du, du, lich schmieren Zen. Du, du, mag mich nicht schmelzen. Weiß nicht, wie gut ich der bin. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. Very good. You want to see some? I don't want to ever make an audience feel bad or make anyone else feel bad. Yet I don't suck up to people either. And uh, anyone that likes my entertainment, I like them automatically. I don't care who they are. If they like what I do, I like them. But the thing about me is I'm very um, reclusive in many ways too. Everyone has dual sides to them. So I can be really out there and then and another time completely different. You never see me in my other side, but I have it. There's a big boycott of America's Got Talent because, you know, if they, they could decide if they want to make you look like a fool or not. And I said, I'm not going to do some real serious thing with my, my angst and everything on stage for America to see and have them do that to me. To get up in front of like 3,500 people and do that and have them go, boo, aye, all this kind of crap, right? That's talent because most people just fold like a flower and dissolve. The more they did, the more it made me stronger. It was like, almost like I was taking their energy and using it. I thought, is that all there is? There's got to be a big ending. This is the ending right now. I want to tell everyone in the audience, don't be afraid of who you are. Grasp wait. your inner self. Wait, wait, Go wait, out wait, there wait, and wait. make something of your life. Wait. You push that button. Let me just say You're, something. Okay, go ahead. 
you're not inspiring anybody. If this is who you are, you shouldn't grasp this. You shouldn't hold on to this. You should be very afraid, and you should get help. You know what? There's too many people saying things like that. We need oh, more positive oh, people God. out there. Oh, you tell them, Mr. Special. I'm You're very. Just let's just take it. Vote. Are you voting? I'm voting a no. I'm and sorry. I said no. And Sharon, you said no. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. I want, yes. I want you to show me something. Okay. Get on the bike. Ride toward. <laughs> ride, ride toward Nick. Ride toward Nick. I ride toward Nick. You want me? My purpose up there was not to show off on the bike, but was to go and have a rapport with the audience and with the judges and cast everything to the wind. I didn't care. They wanted to embarrass me, and I took it and turned it back on them. My sister Linda says, she goes, you are a glutton for punishment. How are you going to put your, you're going to let them do that to you? I said, I don't give a crap. I don't care. I want to be financially secure, and that's my biggest thing now. Why I'm getting older. I'm sick of dealing with, I, I love what I do. That's not an issue. I don't mind talking to people, but I don't like setting up parties and doing all that stuff. It's, it's like, I just want to entertain. I'm not a secretary, I'm an entertainer. I want to get more into the big time, just so I can walk around and go, geez, I have to worry about money. So that's my, that's my goal. Plus, the other thing is for artistic purposes. I think I have something to offer. I'm not bragging, but I have a lot of experience, a lot. And also, I understand what a clown's all about. I understand conflict, contradiction, duality, uh, cause and effect, and that's what makes good comedy. That is what does it. You need to have different thing going on. Comedians think they're not clowns. They're wrong, they are. And clowns think they're not comedians. They they're wrong, they are. Now there's crappy clowns and there's crappy comedians. But the fact of it is, we are one in the same. I have been inspired by this whole thing, and I think I'm going to do stand-up comedy as a clown. Have you ever seen a stand-up comedian clown? No. Well, I'm going to be the first of uh, and I already have some ideas about it and everything, so that's my thing. I think I really have a shtick that no one else has ever done. So, you've heard it here today, May 1st, 2015, I'm going to be a stand-up clown, and I think I'm going to call myself Stand Up the Clown. Some enchanted evening, you may meet a clown, it will be profound. Hey, how's it going? You know what? That's my next door neighbor. Did you ever meet him? All right. I, I'm an entertainer, I'm not a secretary. I am not an agent, and I have to do a lot of this work, which is just really a nightmare, because this is not why I got into the clowning business. I got into the business because I want to be a clown, not an agent, not a, not a um, secretary. I'm a clown because that's what I was born to do. I was born to do comedy. That's my thing. I like comedy. I, that's just my thing. So I do it for enjoyment. It's like, where else do you get paid and people thank you and said you thank I got tons of thank you letters and everything else. I mean, it's, it's wonderful. Every job has a negative and a positive. I've got negative stories, I've got positive stories. When they hire me, they're so used to seeing these, these daycare workers who disguise themselves as clowns go and go, hi children, we love you, and let's all hold hands and sing Ring Around the Rosy, and they think that's a real clown. They may look really good, and they have really perfect makeup and all this stuff, but they're not clowns, they're clones, you know? I have kids draw pictures of me, and as a clown and everything, and send them to me. Makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. Can you imagine? Think about this. If you have a job, you're an accountant. Can you imagine having your boss come up to you and say, send you letters, or people that you work for saying, you're the greatest accountant on the face of the earth, and you know, you, you changed my life, and da da da. It doesn't happen. I'm lucky to have a job like that. You don't want to resolve something. You want people wondering, and you want, see, a clown works on paradox. You know, paradox is what makes a clown, because life is a paradox. Comedy is a paradox. The trick of your life, too, is this. I'm going to tell everyone out there in TV land, check your ego at the door. Even though I may seem like I have a big ego and stuff, I'm dressed as a clown and the whole thing. I get people berating me and stuff. And you know what? Your worst enemy is your ego. It's your worst enemy. You don't realize it. You think it is. People say, well, that guy doesn't have a good ego. The thing is, your ego is your worst enemy. And that's it. You're special. <laughs> I ain't happy. I'm feeling glad 
like our sunshine in a bag I'm useless but not for long the future is coming on I ain't happy I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in a bag I'm useless but not for long the future is coming